Hello, and welcome to the R Reviews. And in memoriam of the late, great Robin Williams, today we'll be reviewing The Aladdin Genie of the Land. So yes, here we have uh, one of my favorite Aladdin-related toys, mostly because of the lamp, but it also comes with this sort of partially plush, partially plastic genie, which you can put inside the lamp. But I'm especially fond of the lamp. It's a fairly nice for a plastic lamp, and it's the only lamp that I've seen that's like the appropriate size. It feels nice in the hands, and it looks about accurate how big the lamp was in the movie. Anyway, let's go ahead and zoom in on all the details, and sculpt, and all of his little features, and all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison, of course here we have Genie. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Superior Spider-Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Uh, Genie is about twice as tall as a six inch figure, but due to the fact that Genie is a mystical, magical being, he can change to whatever size he wants to and does it quite frequently, so he's theoretically in scale with whatever you want him to be in scale with. Anyway, let's get the other two out of here and just look at Genie. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see Genie. He has a large, plush upper body, which is a light blue color. And then his plush pants down there at the bottom with a red sash, darker blue for the pants, and then gold, shiny, curly kind of shoes. He has his gold bands on his wrists. And then he's got a plastic head up there at the top, which we will go ahead and zoom in on right now. Head sculpt-wise, Genie looks very good. All of his facial detail is very cartoon accurate, I believe. He's got his little beard there. They did decide to sculpt it against the face instead of making it jut out, but I guess that's fine. Eyebrows up here are nice. Eyes are painted fairly well. He's got his pointy ears here on the side. Then he's got his little uh, ponytail-like thing here on top with a little gold band on it. All in all, very nice head sculpt. Very accurate, so I approve of it. Genie has no articulation, being that he is a big plush-like thing. You could even say, I suppose, that he has infinite points of articulation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lamp. And moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see the lamp. It is a very large representation of Aladdin's lamp, or Genie's lamp, I suppose, as the case may be. It is a gold marbled plastic, which looks very shiny and nice. has sculpted detail on the lid there, which is removable. Uh, it has a little handle out there on the side, and the spout on the other end, which is not actually a spout. It's just kind of sculpted inward a little bit on the end there. And then the base also has some nice sculpting on it. It looks very cool, and I am rather fond of it. Now let's go ahead and look at the lamp's sort of a feature or interaction or whatever you might want to call it with Genie himself. Essentially the gimmick of this product is you are meant to take the lid off of here, which is on here very tightly, there it goes, and then you're meant to put Genie inside of here, and he's really supposed to, as it's shown on the box, go all the way inside of here, but he really doesn't get too much further in than that without a lot of resistance. So that's about as close as you can get to putting him all the way in the lamp. And you certainly can't get him all the way in there and then put the lid on or anything, because uh, that doesn't really work. But it uh, functions to a certain extent, and it works well enough that you can have him kind of coming out of the lamp for display purposes or whatever you want to do. Now that I've wrapped it up for Genie and his lamp, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Packaging-wise, Genie comes in a very large windowed box. It has illustrations of shoving Genie down to the lamp here on the side. Big, big window here for display purposes. Picture of the Genie down there at the bottom, Aladdin Genie of the Lamp. On the back, you get kind of a little synopsis of the movie. Uh, the same pictures that were on the side there, and then pictures of other items you can get that were out at the time, which are this Aladdin playset, which also looks kind of cool because it also has a lamp in it. I really don't ever see them for sale, and the one time I have it was really expensive. So uh, maybe not something that's easily available. And then here's one of the Aladdin playsets. I have two of those, actually. And then here is the lamp genie that I just told you about. As is always the case with windowed boxes, this is good for in or out of package display. So yeah, genie. All right, that wraps it up for genie. So until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.